Now, what exactly is ambient intelligence, which I will be referring to as AMI? Well, it's an electronic environment that is both sensitive and responsive to the presence of humans. It's the concept of walking into a room and interacting with Alexa or Siri by saying, turn down the thermostat, order an Uber or Lyft, or even just play a song. Let's get into some of the history of AMI. In 1998, AMI was introduced by Philips Research. The name was coined by Eli Zelka and Brian Epstein. And in 2004, the first European symposium on AMI was held. AMI is based on three key technologies, ubiquitous computing, ubiquitous communication, and intelligent user interface. Ubiquitous computing is the integration of microprocessors into everyday objects like furniture, fabrics, and toys. By using ubiquitous computing, people are not aware of the presence of computers. Ubiquitous communication allows objects to communicate with each other and the user. Intelligent user interface enables the inhabitants of AMI to control and interact with the environment in a natural and personalized way. These three key technologies help to make up the architecture of AMI. Artificial intelligence, persuasive ubiquitous computing, networks, human computer interactions, and sensors help to build up the architecture of AMI as a whole. Now, as great as ambient intelligence may sound, there are some limitations, like one, the need for high financing to install and maintain the technological environment. Two, the technology needs to be incorporated into the daily routines of everyone, not just the middle class and the ultra wealthy. And a more minor problem is that wireless sensors are used at the mercy of battery life. But there are many benefits to AMI that are already in use, such as smart home devices, such as Ring, which help people to feel secure when both at home and away. Public surveillance, now this may just sound like the government is trying to track our every move, but public surveillance helps to ensure the safety of everyone in public spaces, and it can even help solve crimes. Another benefit is virtual schools, which I'm sure we're all familiar with right now in our current scenario, but AMI helps to make sure that online school students are able to get a full education and also make sure that they are doing their assigned work and also make sure students are not cheating on their tech. Well, now that you know a little bit more about the world, I hope you use this information for good. Now go out, create, and discover.